Did you just get a new iPhone, iPad, or MacBook for the holidays? Whether it's your first Apple device or an updated model, here are my top apps you should try on your new device. Let's get started. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. If you were lucky enough to get a new Apple device like an iPhone or an iPad or a MacBook, you're probably looking for some good apps to load up on your new device. Well, you've come to the right place. Today I'm going to share my top apps that I use every day. These apps are totally Apple from the functionality down to the design. But before I tell you about these awesome apps, be sure to like this video if you found it useful and subscribe to find out when I post new how-tos and reviews. Alright, let's jump in. I previously did a comparison of Fantastical and Calendars, two third-party calendar apps that I like a lot. But if you're looking for more functionality than the stock Apple Calendar app, check out Fantastical. This is such a well-designed app. It runs on iOS and macOS, and there are complications for your Apple Watch too. There is a free version, but Premium will give you more features, and they have a family plan if you have multiple users. One other standout feature with Fantastical is Openings, which lets you create scheduling links people can use to schedule time on your calendar. Another great productivity app is Spark. This is an all-in-one mail app. The stock Apple Mail app works pretty well, but I love Spark for one big reason. I have different email accounts, and with Spark, I can color code those accounts so it's easy to identify them from within the inbox view. This is a huge time saver for me. You can get Spark on iOS, Mac OS, and they have complications for the Apple Watch too. Spark is also available on Android if you happen to have an Android tablet. It's a free app and they do have a paid version. I've tried using it and honestly, I wasn't a big fan of it. I actually prefer using the free version. Okay, moving on to web browsers. I'm a big Google Chrome user on my Mac and I've always used Safari on my iPhones. Chrome on Mac gives me extensions and profiles, which I use a lot. Safari has extensions as well, but not as many, and they just added profiles. It still needs some work, but it all just works better in Chrome. So I recently moved over to Chrome on my iPhone, and I love that I can sync and see my browsing history across all my devices now. It's on my list here as something to check out if you're a Chrome user. Don't just stick with Safari because it's there. You might find you'll like using Chrome on your new Apple device. I am really big into Note apps. If you got an iPad along with an Apple Pencil this holiday, you have to check out Apple Notes. It works so well with the Apple Pencil. But Bear is a beautiful note-taking app and worth checking out for a minimal note-taking experience. These two apps are my favorite right now. Apple Notes is free and Bear has both free and paid versions. Both are available on iOS and Mac. One of Bear's top features is Markdown support. Markdown lets you type your notes out and use keyboard shortcuts for things like marking headers, italics, bold type, and code blocks. There are also different themes you can use with Bear. Okay, just a couple more apps here to talk about. One app that I think has such good design is ETA. The app is relatively straightforward. If you go to the same places all the time, you can put these addresses into the app and it will always show your ETA to those destinations anytime you're in there. This one is iOS with Apple Watch complications. You can put a widget on your desktop for ETA as well. The design is very simple. All your frequent destinations in one list with the ETA showing for car, mass transit, or walking along with a map display. You can switch up the theme and import calendar events as well. Finally, there are a ton of weather apps out there and the stock Apple Weather app is very nice. But check out Carrot Weather for some fun. This app has so many features. It's on iOS, Mac OS, and has Apple Watch complications. You can change the weather layout and pull from different weather sources. Carrot can get pretty snarky on how it delivers the weather to you, but you can configure that level of personality in the app settings. Overall, it's just a fun way to get your weather delivered. Well, that's it for my top apps in 2023. Congrats on your new device. I'll post links below to all the apps mentioned, so check those out. And be sure to subscribe so you'll know when I post new content that'll help you get the most out of your new Apple device. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll talk soon.